Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Three car mix, Twister, Hell of Six, Hell of Wacky Nick. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, Charterman. Uh, subscribe machine for domains. No, why no angle pivot? What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here doing another custom Marvel Legends action figure review on Monster Mash's Valkyrie Custom. Thank you so much for sending this my way, dude. This is an incredible piece. I love what you've done here. I had reviewed the Hulkbuster Wave Valkyrie figure a while ago and complained about the black leggings right over here. And, you know, it looks like he took note of it and gave us the very fleshy Valkyrie that we see right over here, which looks absolutely fantastic. You can tell that it's based off of this Valkyrie figure right there, you know, so that's really good. He's added the Odin Sun cape, or the Odin cape right there, and then also Odin spear, but it's been shaved down and whatnot. Yeah, you can tell that he's added some paint to her face, so there's a lot of cool little details he's added to this figure, so let's take a closer look. So I think he did a really good job at dremeling this scepter down into a spear. I think it looks really good. I like this, and it's nice and pointy too, but not too sharp. Then to compare it to the Odin scepter right there, you can see... That's how, that's where it came from, you know? So it looks pretty good, I like this. And surprisingly, it does fit into Valkyrie's hand pretty well. And then, of course, he included the sword that came with the Valkyrie figure. Uh, I did learn, though, from my review of the other Valkyrie that this is actually supposed to be gold all the way through, so I may have her armed with the other sword that came with the first Valkyrie figure from Hasbro. So I think he did a really good job of repainting this head sculpt. First off, you can see the eyebrows match up compared to the original head sculpt over here. You can see that the eyebrows don't really match up so well right there. The paint is just off to the sculpt, so he nailed that. I really like the blush that he added right there to her cheeks. The lipstick looks really good. The eyes look better. You can see some black around there, and they're centered. Compared to this one right here, the left eye is a little bit cockeyed. You can see, and she doesn't really have the eyeliner makeup so much compared to this one. So I think it's just a much prettier looking face. I think he did a really good job with this. I really like it a lot. Very pretty Valkyrie. And then he didn't really do much to the hair, which I'm not complaining about at all because I don't think anything really needed to be done to the hair. There's the back of her head, and there's the back of the head of the original. So yeah, you can see that's the same. Looking at the upper torso over here, you can see that he did add some sculpted work. So he did remove the little uh, knots or the little bulbs right over here. You know, the chicha cones are still there, of course. Nice silver paint matching up pretty nicely, I think. The arms look untouched. Don't think anything needed to really be done over there. And then right on that side, it looks like there's a slight color difference, but the original figure, yeah, okay, so that's just from the original figure. And then looking at the legs over here, I think this is, this is my favorite part of the figure, you know what I mean? How can I just not say that? But look at that. I love the shading and the flesh tone on the legs just looks fantastic. I really dig it a lot. And then without ruining the cape or anything, I guess that might be a little gripe of mine as I wish the cape was removable just so we can get in there and see those Valkyrie nalgas, you know what I mean? But you could see them, you know, pretty good, I like it, I like it. I I'm a leg man, so I'm just really happy to see the bare legs like this. This shading just looks so perfect, man. A uh, really, really good job on this. There's no paint rub on the knees over here, which I think is great. You do get a little bit of rubbing right in the inside of the joint, but, you know, you have to look really deep inside there to find it. <laughs> That's, it was and trying to be funny right there and then I did get a little some paint chipping right there on that ankle but on this one over here not really and eh, just a tiny bit right over there so you know it's to be expected from customs to get a little bit of paint chipping but I don't think it's a bad job you know it just needs a little bit of touch up or something right there I really like the sculpt right over here I don't know if he'd taken this from another figure or not I think these bands are all sculpted on though then it still has the peg holes at the bottom of the feet paint looks really good on this though I'm really liking it a lot yeah, very, very good looking Valkyrie. Loving those thighs, just looks really, really good. Really cool thing about this figure that I like is that you can stand her up without leaning her against the cape or anything. I think that's really cool. So that's cool that we have that touch right there. I think that's awesome. Now the head articulation is the same as it was before. You can get her to look left and right. She cannot really look up though, and she could look down some, and you get some head pivot, but not too much. There is a little bit of restriction with the shoulders just due to the cape, so her arms can only move outward that much, but she can move her arms forward that much. You can see 
yeah. So that far forward, you get rotation at the bicep. She has a single jointed elbow, and one thing I didn't mention is that these silver bands right here are painted on compared to the original. You can see the black bands right there. And she can swivel at the elbow, and then she has a wrist swivel, and she can hinge at the elbow. She still has her diaphragm joint, so you can turn her side to side. She can crunch forward only a little bit and move back a little bit, and a little bit of pivot over there as well. She does have the hip joints still, so you can move them outward that much. And to get them moving forward, you have to do the rotation and then kick forward like that. So that's awesome. She has the upper thigh swivel still. The double jointed knees looking really good. I like how you don't see any black right there in the middle. And then you get the ankle joint that moves up and down and you get the ankle pivot. And same thing with this one over here too. So I really like this a lot. So the Valkyrie's figure stands at the same height as it did before, just a little over seven inches tall. Then you can see the custom Valkyrie next to the Hulkbuster Wave Valkyrie. And then we have the two pack Hulk Valkyrie right over there. The first one from Hasbro. And you can see this one is obviously the ultimate Valkyrie figure. Then here she is next to another female body mold. We have the Moonstone right here. And you can see how mighty she looks next to Moonstone. And then here's a custom Valkyrie next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, beautiful legs there, baby. Hey, where's your man at, huh? Nowhere to be found. Heard you like spider guys. How about you and I? <laughs> Again, I think Monster Mash did a fantastic job on this piece. After doing the stop motion segment, I did not get any extra paint chipping, especially on the ankle. I'm very impressed that this side held up. Unfortunately, this one did not, but you can tell he added a lot of paint to it and everything, and he did a good job on that part. So unfortunately, there is some paint chipping, but other than that, it's just a really good piece, man. I think he did a great job. I really like his work. I follow him on Instagram. I really like his customs. I really recommend that you follow him on Instagram as well. And just to make sure that we cover all our bases, you can see the Valkyrie Nagas right over there. Yeah, just didn't want to leave any of that out, you know? But anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're of the age of 18 or older, please check out my Patreon account. Your help is very much appreciated. And if you're any age, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to shardimusprime.net for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Then of course, and then of course he included this. And then of course he.